Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI. And this is a 41-year-old male with complaints of knee pain for about three years. Had an old knee injury and now he feels a lump over the lateral joint line. And I put an arrow here on a cyst. This is a septated cyst over the lateral knee. So just to get oriented, if we go down below the knee joint, we get the fibula tibia. If we roll up towards the joint at the joint line, we see a dark band, which is the meniscus. The meniscus fits between the femur and tibia. This is the medial meniscus. The lateral meniscus is over here. And this is off the outside of the lateral meniscus, a complex septated fluid collection here over the lateral joint line. If we go up even higher, we get into the uh, kneecap area. We see the patella, the kneecap. And in this patient, we see a little white line. This is a little fissure or a tear through the cartilage. So the gray is cartilage, the black is the cortical bone, and we see that the white is fluid, and the fluid goes right into the cartilage. So we know there's a tear or fissure of the patellar cartilage that can cause anterior knee pain, and it's probably why they have this little bit of fluid collection here. But now we're going to look straight at the patient. Let's put on this one first. At this one we can see that there is a problem over here on the lateral side of the knee. We see this big glob over here. Medial side of the knee looks pristine, nice and normal. We have the medial collateral ligament, medial meniscus. And this side we see the lateral meniscus is a little foggy and ill-defined. And this big cyst. Also the cyst is eroding the bone. There's a little, looks like a rat bite over here, a little bite out of the outside. So it looks like the cyst has been here for a while. And it's just putting chronic pressure on the tibia and eroding through it here. Now we'll put up this picture, the money shot. We see this septated complex cyst. We see some signal in the meniscus, not a normal looking meniscus, it looks kind of foggy, a little irregular. If we go to the front of the meniscus, the front also looks a little funny. So this looks like this is a, what we call a parameniscal cyst. When it's hugging the meniscus, it looks like there's probably fluid leaking out of this abnormal meniscus and it's filling up this uh, pocket out here. And so uh, these are often associated with a meniscal cyst or a, a degenerative signal in the meniscus and the meniscus um, has a, an internal tear or degenerative signal and it weeps out and the fluid that weeps out, this mucinous material fills up on the outside where there's less resistance and it'll form a meniscus or a parameniscal cyst we call it. Sometimes it'll fill up right in the substance of the meniscus and the meniscus will balloon out. We call it a meniscal cyst but if it ruptures out beyond the meniscus and fills up a space over here with less resistance we call it a parameniscal cyst. And our ganglion cysts could produce a similar appearance, could look just like this, but since the meniscus is abnormal and just hugs the meniscus so nice, this is probably a parameniscal cyst. And that's it. Thank you very much.